Uh, now, suppose that we found our principal components. Uh, the next step is to project our data point to these new dimensions. And we're not going to project to everything. We're going to assume that we have a smaller number uh, m of new dimensions, right? So we're not going to pick all eigenvectors. We're going to pick m eigenvectors with the biggest eigenvalues and project the data to them, right? So now, what does it mean to project? Uh, you have an instance x. Uh, this instance is a d-dimensional vector. Remember, d is our original high dimensionality. So you have attributes x1 through xd. And what we're going to do with it is uh, we want to find the new components x1 through xm, which are going to be the coordinates in the new space. So the way we do that is uh, we take our instance x. Uh, wait, this should be x0, x prime. And we subtract the mean from it, right, so that centers it. Uh, and then uh, for each one of the eigenvectors we have, we're going to do a dot product between this new data point with the mean subtracted and each one of the eigenvectors, right? We have m eigenvectors, so we're going to do it m times, right? So what does it look like, uh, sort of uh, pictorially? Uh, so here are two dimensions, e1 and e2. Uh, here is our x minus mu. Uh, this is the new data point that comes in and we've subtracted the mean. Everything is a vector. So we're going to do the projection by doing a dot product between this x, centered x, and e1, right? And uh, when you do the dot product between e1 and x, that basically just does forms, figures out where along this coordinate does it fall, right? That's the definition of the dot product. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing with E2, right? So, uh, so that's pictorially. Uh, now symbolically what it looks like is we have x, uh, we subtract the mean of all the data points from it, so that looks like that, right? Subtract the mean of each attribute, right? So this is the mean of the second attribute and you subtract it from x2. Um, and then we're going to do the multiplications, right? So we're going to take uh, x minus mu, right, that this entire vector, and we're going to multiply it by e1, which is our first eigenvector, the first principal component, right, and that is just the dot product, right, you take the first attribute in e1, multiply it by the first attribute in x, second attribute times second attribute, third attribute times third attribute, do it all, uh, you get a number, and that number is x1 prime, that is your coordinate along the new dimension 1. Right. You multiply it with e2, and that gives you a coordinate along the new dimension 2. Right? And you repeat it m times for m eigenvectors, you end up with m coordinates. Voila, you're done. You started with a high dimensional vector x1 through xd, and you ended up with a low dimensional one x1 prime through xm prime.